Microsoft just dropped 5.4 multimodal and 5.4 mini, two tiny AI beasts that punch away above their weight. This two small language model or, or SLMS designed to bring advanced AI right to your devices without, without melting your CPU. Let me break it down, what's hot and what's not and why these little guys matter. First up, the 5.4 multimodal. This isn't your average chatbot. This thing speak, see, and read at the same time. Text, images, and audio all fused into one brain. No messy pipeline, no, no duct taping models, just one compact AI that doing it all. It's only 5.6 billion parameter, which is tiny by today's standard, but somehow it's crushing benchmarks. It understands speech, translate languages, analyze documents, even read charts and tables. In fact, it just took the first spot on Hugging Face Open ESR leaderboard, beating our specialized model like the Whisper version 3. Now meet the 5.4 Mini, the thickest wizard. It's 3.8 billion parameter language model built to be fast, efficient, and scary smart. It's not just good at basic text, it handles reasoning, coding, math, and even function calling like a bro. Need to process a document with 128,000 tokens? Phi Mini got you covered. Want to call an ABI or control a smart home devices? It already can do that. This is the kind of model that lives inside your apps and your phone and make everything just work. The question that asks itself, why should we care? We should care because this model can run locally. No need for an internet connection 24 hours or you need a data center to run this stuff in your bucket. These are small enough for phones, laptop, or even smart application. And thanks to the Onyx runtime, they are super easy to deploy across platform. AI is no longer locked behind the expensive cloud subscription, locking to GBT 4.5. With the 5.4 advanced AI can literally live inside your phone if you want. Inside the Azura AI Foundry, you, you can check the card or this model. And you can see here, it's just behind the Lama 3.811 billion parameter vision model in terms of AI quality and latency, it's, ex it's extremely good. And you can see here, it's compared to the Mr. Large and the Phi 3 medium, which of course I think it's kind of better in some area and bad in other, the GBT 3.5 Turbo and the Lama 3.211 billion parameter. This model is about 6 gigabyte in terms of size. You can actually run it on your phone. And I feel like the urge of downloading it and trying to run it on my phone and see how it performs and how the speed it will be in response. But that might be for another video. It supports a lot of languages. I'm surprised they support the Arabic and Chinese. And of course, English is the main language for AI, French, Ukrainian, Turkish. There is a lot of languages here, Italian, Japanese, and in Edu, they only support English, Chinese, German, French, Italian, Japanese, Spanish, and Portuguese. And English is only for images. So basically, if you want to generate images, you only have to talk to it in English. And in Edu, transcription, you need to talk to it in these languages. I think there are about seven languages, which is the main languages. The Arabic is already checked out of the chat the minute that we talked about edu and images and down below in the model summary you can check that they have they have 128k tokens context links which is good and you can see what kind of gpus that's trained on and the time of training it's almost about months and the data cutoff was in december 2024 and january 2025 which is extremely close all right, enough talking about the technical stuff. Let's see them in action. I will throw some small test for the 5.4 multimodal and we'll see how it handles some of the capability that it said it's announced in SCARD and article. I found this amazing repo on Hugging Face called the Agent Dino. It's showing the multiple capability of this for multimodal. For example, we have here transcription, text, summarize, OCR, and also image generation, which is kind of wild. So let's get started. I will start with summarize this letter. This actually decent quality of the bad writing that I have seen so far. It seemed like it got it correct and it's very fast also. Seemed the same thing. Dear dad, school is really great. I'm making lots of friends and studying very hard with all my stuff. 
I'm simply can think of anything I need. So if you want, you can just send me a card. I would love to hear from you. Love your son. And this is exactly the same thing inside the letter. Let's let's do one more test. Let's write the image drawing of a man made out of hamburger, blue sky background, and soft pastel colors. Okay, I can see that is some sort of correct because this guy is kind of made of a hamburger and the sky is blue and the color are pastel the image is not that bad i can see there's a blue sky and clouds and pastel color and this is a hamburger guy i don't know it's not that good but it's not that bad either for a small model and one of the coolest things that I found inside this reboot from Egypt Dino that you can use it to search the web. It asks it here a question. Is Grox 3 beat the deep seek R1 at reasoning? And it search the web and got this result. And you can pick yourself what you think about if the Grox 3 can beat the R1 or not. You can say it's around the deep seek R1, but of course it can't beat it. The R1 is a legend. One more test. Here I found the tag of YOLO, you only look once to the image and you basically label it and I can see it did a decent labeling like it detected two person, one dog and a ball but call it a sports ball. It's not that bad but it's actually very good for a small model. Let's test the audio capability, there already an option here to click it and this is the result of the audio transcription which to be honest is amazing for a small model like this let's hear it together the stale smell of old beer lingers it takes heat to bring out the odor a cold dip restores health and zest a salt pickle tastes fine with ham tacos al pastor are my favorite a zestful food is the hot cross bun this model also have thickest to speech which is very cool you can ask it anything in text and it will take it and go search for it or basically reason and with it and give you the tokens this model also have text to speech and you can ask it anything for example there is this question what causes rainbow to form and this is the result that i got other droplets and other small particles in the air there are two types of rainbow, one that appears on the horizon, called daytime or sunset, and another that appears at sunrise, nighttime. The first type forms because sunlight travels along straight paths until it reaches the surface of clouds, then it bounces off surfaces like rocks and snowflakes before reaching our eyes as white light. The second type forms because sunlight reflects off tiny objects such as dust mists into which it was thrown, creating large numbers of smaller bright areas called puddles. When these puddles get closer together they can combine into larger patches, forming what we call a rainbow. As you look up from below with your eyes closed, you will see several colors appear red for the largest patch, blue for the middle ones and yellow for the smallest. This is how we recognize them. This one will say that's very good at the logic of coding, so there is a question already asking explain how binary search algorithm works. I'm gonna try this. And this is the result that I got. It started by planning how the algorithm will be written or how basically it will behave. Then it wrote the code in Python, even I didn't ask for it. Then it gave me a final answer. The binary search algorithm is fast and efficient way to search for an item from an assorted list. It's acting like one of these models that is distilled that look for a bigger model and ask it questions and get the answer immediately to have an amazing quality in terms of response compared to its size. And there you have it. Microsoft 5 for the multimodal and the mini proving that small models still can hold its ground and can work on phone. Want to play with them yourself? They live right now on the Azura AI Foundry and Hagen Face and even NVIDIA ABI catalog. Smash like if you love this tiny model with big brains and subscribe if you want more AI videos like this. See you on the next one. Peace.